Hey, beautiful people. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. And I hope that you guys are just vibing so high and so positive. Uh, this video is all about the entryway. And we do have the kitchen also in here. But I want to focus on the entryway and the importance of an entryway. Even if you don't have one, you can make one in your own apartment. Uh, you need definitely a place where when you come home from work, school, anywhere, just anywhere. Yeah, so if you're coming home from work, the gym, anywhere that, you know, you're outside and you're coming in, the moment you step in, that is supposed to be your safe space. You just want to de-stress and declutter. Um, and the stuff that's holding you down, like your keys, you should have at least a spot, a designated spot where you could just literally not worry about the cleanliness or like the, the clutter. You could just literally drop it down. Drop your keys, take off your shoes, and hang up your coat. And make your way to hopefully wash your hands when you come in because you've been outside. But if you need to just get a snack, if you need to just shower, undress, whatever it is. But that way you're not lugging everything all throughout the house. As soon as you walk in, that entryway makes a difference. Not only that, I feel like the entryway or exit way, we never thought about it that way. The exit way is very vital because this is like the last final piece before you leaving at the house. You want to make sure you look right. You know, your hair is slicked back, you know, or if you're a man, your mustache or your beard is in place. Whatever the reason is, you have a place to look at yourself to make sure that you are decent before taking on and tackling this crazy world that we live in. Um, and then you could just be creative. If you don't have such a super big space, you can get one of those floating shelves, a smaller mirror. You don't necessarily have to do a full-on uh, console table like I did here. But even this console table, it's super sleek. It's super compact. I absolutely love it. I love the glass. I love the mirror. I just love the whole effect of it. The candle, it just gives you this nice, beautiful ambiance. So when you come in, you know, you're going to step into luxury. And this is where you're facing out. Like even when you're facing out, you can put a nice little art piece. You don't have to look at the nest and you know, you can have something super nice. Now let's go right into the kitchen. Ooh la la, this is where we're gonna eat food and get our grub on. This is the before and this is the after. Enough said, I don't even think I need to speak on this part, but I'm going to. Um, the kitchen, I absolutely love because it's super sleek, it's simple, it's elegant, it's chic, it's very modern. I love, love this white pedestal table. It's super durable, it's easy to clean off, and it's so affordable, which is like the icing on the cake. Um, these chairs too, these chairs just give you I'm rich auntie vibes. You have these nice black velvet chairs. Again, it's so easy to clean. If you guys have velvet, do not get afraid to, you know, consider velvet because you can just scotch guard it. And if you have any stains or spills, it literally just rolls right off. Scotch guard, scotch guard, scotch guard. It's one of the key things that you can use when you have velvet pieces. And as far as the artwork, I didn't want them to kind of like, you know, have the up and down like I kind of did in the living room. I wanted them to ascend or descend. In this case, we descended um, just to keep the visual interest interesting, so to speak. Um, and we got those nice silk curtains at the cafe level length. And of course, the gold rod with a diamond crusted end. It's like chef's kiss. Yes, and it just, I don't know, it kind of gives me like... This kitchen, if it was a model, I would say Audrey Hepburn. It's giving me Audrey Hepburn vibes. I don't know, maybe it's the black. It's just super, super sleek and modern. I absolutely love it. And you don't necessarily have to just do like all black. I wanted to have hints and, and punches of the whole apartment throughout, even in the kitchen. Again, cohesive is key. You cannot have one space. I mean, you can. Is it going to look right? If you have a whole different theme in one space and then you walk into the next room and then something else, it just might make you a little dizzy just looking into the space. But guess what? This space, I purposefully wanted to tie each room into each other. And it's so smart. If you have like an open floor plan or if you have a small space, you don't want to overwhelm it with all these crazy different colors. This is one way you can never go wrong with black. Black is absolutely stunning. Again, luxurious, rich auntie vibes. And you, you, you can sit here, like, can you envision that? Just grab you a cup of coffee, a cup of joe, you know, just chilling in the morning, reading a book, reading the Bible, whatever it is, whatever you want to do, just 
sitting here and de-stressing for a little bit. And of course, my favorite piece that makes it all bougie. If you guys notice throughout the whole place, I have these feathers literally in almost every place except for the bathroom. Uh, but this just gives it this nice, again, rich, elegant vibes. I'm so vibing with these feathers. And it's just tying everything in. Again, it's cohesive. Just makes it look super fresh, super clean. So I was super excited to do this. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you would have done anything different. I'm so excited for this. And thank you guys for so much for watching. Stay tuned for the other reveal.